Okay, hi everyone. Thanks very much for joining us. So my name is Gavin Reed, and I'm an associate professor within the Department of Actuarial Maths and Statistics at Heriot Watt here in, here in Edinburgh. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about some of the MSc postgraduate programmes that we offer within the department and within the school that we're a part of. So that would also include the Department of Mathematics and the Department of Computer Science too. Um, there should be a comment box on, on Facebook there which will allow you to ask any questions that you might have and we'll have a couple of pauses through the, the presentation for you to, to ask any questions that, that you might have. Any that we don't answer during the session I can maybe catch up with afterwards. Um, so I'm going to start off with talking a little bit about two of our, kind of, I guess, flagship um, MSc programmes within the department which are our MSc in Actuarial Science and our MSc in Actuarial Management. Um, and they're most suitable for those of you who might be interested in working as a, in a career as an, an actuary in the future. So I guess the first question is, what does an actuary actually do? Well, I actually worked as an actuary myself before I, I came here to work uh, here at Watt. And for me, I guess there's kind of four big parts to the job that I would, I would mention. The first part is finance. So actuaries tend to work with people's money. So that could be in insurance or investment or banking, even pensions. Um, and what we tend to do is try to look into the future to try to make predictions about events which might happen in the future in the world of finance. So that may be, for example, when a fall in the stock market might happen, or it might even be the chances of a pandemic or an epidemic affecting mortality all over the country or even across, across the world. And unlike a kind of fortune teller who used a crystal ball to try and predict the future, we use maths, and in particular statistics, in order to do that. And in particular, we're focusing, I guess, on the kind of negative events that could happen in the future. So the risks, the things that could go wrong, in, in particular with people's money. And having identified that, we measure the kind of chances of that happening. And then think about steps we can take to manage or kind of mitigate those risks. So for me, I guess the kind of final part of the job I like to think of it as being a bit of a kind of financial superhero, really. What we're trying to do is protect people's money, that of the policyholders and the customers of the companies that we work for, and also the companies themselves. So for me, I guess those are the kind of four main aspects of the, the job that I would mention. Cool, so our, our MSc in Actuarial Science is a one-year MSc. Our MSc in Actuarial Management is a follow-on one-year MSc as well. But we also offer a two-year combined MSc called the MSc in Actuarial Science and Management, which is really just those two MSCs put together, but with one summer project at the end of the two years. And those MSCs are suitable for those of you who might be interested in becoming actuaries, so doing the kind of type of work that I was, I was just talking about. Why might you want to do that besides having an interest in the work? Well, for me, I guess there's a couple of things which are big pros to becoming an actuary. The first one is the, the money that you can earn. So it's not the only reason to do a job, um, but it helps, I guess. Um, so actuarial students who graduate fresh from university and start within companies tend to have pretty good high average starting salaries. So in the UK, the average starting salary at the moment is about £34,000. In order to qualify as an actuary, you need to pass a set of professional exams. Um, and in doing those, as you go along, your salary actually can increase pretty quickly, which can mean that by the time you qualify, which could be, I guess, between two and five years after you, you start work, depending on your progress, um, you could be earning in the region of, I guess, £60,000 or even more than that, possibly. So the money is pretty good. Um, I guess feeding into to that is, is a, a, every year a company called CareersCast does a, a survey of people who do all types of jobs and they ask them questions about the degree of job satisfaction, the degree of challenge, the money that they earn um, and generally how satisfied they are in the jobs they're doing. And from that they produce a list of what they deem to kind of be the best jobs in the world. And every year an actuary is in the top ten in that list, nearly always without fail in the top five. And a couple of times in the last 10 years, including a couple of years ago, it was the number one best job in the world on that list, which I think says a lot for the job itself. Um, the other good thing I think about, about becoming an actuary is that um, in these times, I guess, of relative uncertainty in the world, so we've got, I guess, the increased threat of terrorism around the world, we've got climate change, we've got possible kind of instability within the financial markets from time to time. 
risk is a big factor in their lives and in, in the lives of companies as well. And an actuary's job is really to try to manage that. That's what we can do best. So I think job security in these times actually is pretty good, um, given the focus that, that there is within, within risk across the world. Great, so why would you want to, to come and study with us if, if, that, if that type of job would interest you? Well, we're one of only a few universities in the UK to be what's called accredited by the Professional Actuarial Society in the UK, which is called the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. Now, what does that mean? Well, in, in order to qualify as an actuary, you need to pass 15 professional exams. And um, because our two MSc courses are fully accredited, it means that we can provide exemptions from those professional exams. Now, if you take our MSc in actuarial science and perform well enough, you can gain exemptions from the first eight of the professional exams. And if you went on then, in order to do our MSc in actuarial management, you could then gain exemptions from a further five of those exams. So that would mean, so that would mean including the, all the exemptions you could pick up, um, you gain one extra, more than you actually need, and in fact you end up having to do three more exams um, once you've finished um, your qualifications with us. So that's a great head start, having passed 12 of the 15 exams you need in order to qualify as a professional. And that's really good because otherwise you're going to be working and studying at the same time. So that's tough, I've done it myself. So you do a full day's work in the office perhaps and you need to come home and open the books and, and study um, a bit more at night. So anything you can do to ease the pressure on yourself um, I think is a, is a really good thing. So the exemptions I think are a, a really great thing about the, the degree courses um, that we offer. Cool, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more uh, in a minute about the, the, the benefits of studying with us in general, but the, the other degrees that we offer are, are as follows. So we've got our MSc in Financial Mathematics. So that's suitable for those of you who might be interested in working in some kind of quantitative role in finance. So that might be in insurance, but perhaps more often in investment banking or fund management, those kind of areas. Also suitable for those of you who might be interested in, in doing a PhD in the future. It's a degree which is offered jointly between us and Edinburgh University. And if you studied with us, you'd spend about two days with in, in each of the two universities studying per week. Um, and the universities, both names, um, are, are printed on your, your final degree certificate as well. Um, the other main programme that we offer is our MSc in Quantitative Finance and Maths. So that's another degree suitable for those of you who might be interested in a general quantitative role in finance. And by taking a subset of the courses on this degree, you can also pick up exemptions from the Premier exam, so that's the Professional Risk Managers Association exams internationally, and um, the Level 1 and 2 exams, which can help you to go down the route of a risk manager, if that's something that interests you as well. Okay, so more generally, why else might you be interested in coming to study with us? Well, I live in Edinburgh, so I guess I'm a little bit biased, but I think Edinburgh and Scotland are great places to live. So Edinburgh is really beautiful. You've got the castle right in the centre of the city and the main shopping street down below that you can just look up at. Um, and there's lots of green areas. And I think many parts of Edinburgh feel a bit more like a town or even a village than a, than a big city. Um, our programmes, as I mentioned, offer exemptions from the professional exams. So we've got the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries exams. On our actuarial management MSc, you've also got the opportunity to pick up what's called the CEDA qualification, so that's a, a risk management qualification, again offered by the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries. And there's the premier exemptions as well on our quantitative finance and maths MSc. Um, in addition to that, very recently in, in December, we were really pleased to receive um, the Certificate of Excellence Award from the Society of Actuaries. So that's the American Institute of Actuaries, the American actuarial profession, and we're the first actuarial university within Europe in order to, to gain that recognition, which we're really proud of. Um, the department and the university as a whole, in fact, are, are highly ranked. The department itself was the first of its kind in the UK, and every year on our postgraduate student surveys, we get really positive feedback on the quality of the courses and in particular the teaching that we provide too. 
So every year almost without fail, about around or more than 90% of our students say they're satisfied with the courses that we teach and in particular say that the staff are good at explaining things which we're really proud of in terms of our quality of teaching. Um, we've also got close links with the actuarial profession. So for example, I myself uh, am a member of the, the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries and I'm also on the Scottish board of the IFOA. Um, and I have responsibility for raising the profile of, of actuaries in Scotland. Um, the, there's also the, the possibility for doing your actuarial summer project on um, our MSc in actuarial science and also our MSc in financial maths and QFM, doing your project actually within industry, so with a company. Um, and that's facilitated through our close links with industry, so within the university. We've got the president of what's called the, the Scottish Financial Risk Academy, so the SFRA, which takes responsibility for actually trying to tighten links between the industry and academia. Um, and that allows us to try and run these summer projects within industry themselves. Um, in addition, we've got, uh, oh, we've got some questions coming in, <laughs> so I'm going to hand over for some questions. Um, thank you for the questions that are coming through. Uh, first one is by Vera Lopez. Vera Lopez, can I apply for several programs is the question. Yep, you can Vera. So the, the only thing I would say about that is that in terms of our actuarial programs, um, you would need to complete some kind of actuarial degree in actuarial science before you could apply for the MSc in actuarial management. So the, the prerequisites for actuarial management are exemptions from some of the earlier exams which you could pick up from our MSc in Actuarial Science, for example. But absolutely, you could apply for our MSc in Actuarial Science, our MSc in Financial Maths, or our MSc in Quantitative Finance and Maths. Okay. Uh, there's another one coming through. How, li how likely is it uh, to get a job as an actuary? So I, I kind of alluded to this before, but I think the job prospects are really good, particularly now, perhaps even more than in the past. So. As I kind of mentioned, an actuary's job is to manage risk, and I think there's a, this increased focus on risk all across the world in terms of the, the threat of terrorism, in terms of climate change, in terms of economic stress. So I think actually now more than ever, the prospects of, for jobs are, are really good, particularly if you can pick up a lot of the exemptions that are available from our actuarial degree courses, because that really proves you've got the skills and the, the knowledge that you need in order to succeed as an actuary. We'll continue. Great. Um, what else have we got within the department? Well, I, I, something we're very proud of within the department is our Students Actuarial Society. So it's a society which is run by our students for the benefit of our students. And every year the society organises a wide range of events. So that could be talks based on um, current kind of hot topics within the actuarial and finance industry, social events across the year too. Um, revision sessions for classes um, and their flagship event every year really happens in February so it's scheduled for next month which is the, the Student Society Annual Conference and that attracts speakers from all across the country and sometimes beyond and also attracts industry attendees coming in so actually who actually work in the local industry and beyond to come in in order to see the speakers and pick up their continuous professional development requirements in, in doing so. Um, for those of you who are interested in trading and investments and more the kind of fund management side, we've also got a, a very active trading and investment society within the university as well. What else? I think, well, something else we're very proud of within the department is that you're taught by experts in the fields of finance. So as I mentioned, I myself am an actuary, and within the department we've got seven actuaries, so about a third of our staff are, are actuarial staff who have actually worked in industry in the past and we really try to bring the benefits of, of the examples of the work that we've done in the past to bear in the courses that, that we teach you. And we've also got experts in risk management as well. So one of our professors, Andrew Cairns, who's also the director of the Actuarial Research Centre. So that's the, the research um, centre which is run on behalf of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries and picks up really all the kind of key research done by the profession. Andrew is also kind of expert in risk management um, in addition to that. Um, the other thing which we're quite proud of is that throughout the course we tend not to just give you the material 
and allow you to go away and just learn it on your own. So we really are proud of the fact that we try and guide you through the course material. So that's both within lectures, classes during the week, which tend to be very interactive and involving. For many of the courses, there are also tutorials, which allows you to do question practice. And also in many, many classes, there also tend to be labs, so using kind of Excel or the statistical package R in order to apply the theory of what you've learned in class and practice as well, um, which we think is really useful when you come to kind of work in, in the, the real world. So I think for me those are the kind of the, the kind of key elements which make this a kind of great place to study and I'm, I'm very kind of proud to work here. In terms of entry requirements, what we're looking for really is um, you to have a previous degree in a kind of mathematical related discipline. So we get a number of kind of applications each year from um, students who've done kind of business related courses, but sometimes we find that those don't quite have enough mathematical content. So we do need a good amount of mathematical content in your previous degrees. And we're looking for about the equivalent of a good um, upper second class honours degree in, in based in, in the UK system, or equivalent if you're currently studying abroad. Um, for the MSc in actuarial management, that's slightly different. So as I mentioned earlier, having done a previous actuarial science degree is actually a prerequisite for that. So in order to, to enter the MSc in actuarial management, what we're really looking for there is you to have done that previous actuarial degree, done pretty well, and have six exemptions from those earlier actuarial exams. Excuse me, those are called the, the core technical subjects. So that's what we're really looking for there. Um, in terms of um, scholarships, question. Oh, question? Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to ask about job expectancy after finishing Master Network Security Program. Uh, that's Mamoun who is asking this. Cool, Mamoun. So I think um, it would be best for if we could get you to speak to maybe one of our computer science experts, maybe after the. the talk, we could kind of link you up with one of them, would that be okay if we yeah, maybe do perfect. that? I'm not an expert on that course in particular, I'm afraid, I'm sorry. Um, uh, we've got Lotfi who's from Tunisia, there's no question there, but welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome Lotfi. Okay, so I'll just tell you a little bit about the, the scholarships that we've got on offer to finish as well. So um, we offer our Head of School Scholarship, which is an automatic 10% reduction in fees essentially. And that applies where you apply and the offer is received and accepted before the end of March typically. Um, we also offer other scholarships, um, including uh, a, a range of, of scholarships. We ha I don't think we've quite finalised those for this year as yet, but they're typically available on an application basis to the kind of outstanding applicants that, that we have available. Um, in addition to the, the courses that I've mentioned, we also have a wide range of mathematical MSCs available. So that's in both computational, applied maths, pure mathematics as well. And as we mentioned earlier, we've, we've also got a, a range of computer science MSCs as well. Um, and those are on um, subjects such as data science, artificial intelligence, human-robot interaction, information technology too. And several of our mathematical and computer science MSCs are two-year courses with a pre-masters to lead you into the second year then before you finish. Great. So do we have any other questions to, to finish off? Uh, there's one person asking, uh, Vero again, uh, asking about uh, applying for a PhD. Can you help me find the topic? Uh, so we want to, um, we would like to invite Vero to apply for the virtual open day chat that oh, is okay. going on in the background. And uh, in the comments, we're now going to send the link. So Vero, that uh, would be our best bet for you now. Great video, so hope that helps with that. Exactly. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for listening, for attending anyone. Um, if you've got questions, feel free to, to contact the, the guys behind me via the virtual open day. We've got some of our actual students there who are available to help with any particular questions you might want to ask them as well. So thank you very much for listening and bye-bye.